Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about summarizing. Mr. Davis has already gone through talking to the text with you, and that's something that we can definitely do uh, with this text as well. Um, but what we're really going to focus on is the summary. All right, I'm Miss Carrie, and let's get started. All right, so here's the first paragraph. I'm going to put a little one by it. Uh, the main thing with summarizing is we want to read the paragraph, or really any chunk of text, and uh, we want to try to make sense of it at the end of that. So let's read the first paragraph. Jack Andraka is the smartest kid in science class, and probably in his entire high school. But the teen who may have invented an early test for pancreatic cancer, an organ he says he didn't even know he had when he began his quest, says creativity rather than brains played the bigger role in his discovery. Morley Safer interviews Andraka about his remarkable work on one of the deadliest cancers for a story to be broadcast on 60 Minutes, Sunday, October 13th at 7 p.m. All right, so I read that sentence and I tried to find or that paragraph and I tried to find one sentence that would really describe it. So I wrote it down already so that we wouldn't have to take as much time in this video. All right, and my one sentence, let me get this in view. Uh, is Jack Andraka is a creative high school student who may have developed an early test for pancreatic cancer. Let me have proper grammar here. Um, all right, so that's my first sentence. Um, all, there's some other stuff in there. He's going to be on 60 Minutes, but really the main thing that we have here is that this guy um, is a high school student that may have developed an early test for pancreatic cancer. All right, what's next? Andraka is a boisterous teen whose shocked, unrestrained reaction to his invention, winning the grand prize at the Intel International Science Fair, went viral. He was almost as shocked to learn that there was no early test for pancreatic cancer, the disease that had taken the life of a family friend. I just used Google and Wikipedia to find a new way to attack pancreatic cancer, he tells Safer at the beginning of this. I didn't even know I had a pancreas. He was 14. All right, so I didn't quite get everything in my sentence about him being 14 and all of that, um, but that is really cool stuff to know. Um, so basically what I said here was Jack used internet research to develop his idea after a family friend died of pancreatic cancer, and he won a huge science fair. That's what that paragraph says. All right, what's next? His research, both online and in printed science journals, led him to a protein called mesothelin that was associated with the presence of the disease. Hang on a second. This seems like a more complicated sentence. So let's make sense of just this one sentence. All right. So what this is saying is that when this protein is there, then the disease is present. So another way to say that in scientific terms is that it's a marker for this disease. So I wrote a one sentence summary or an easier way to say that, because that seemed like something that was important and a little bit complicated for me, and I didn't want to wait till the end of the paragraph. All right, what's next? Uh, he then had to invent a process for detecting this biomarker in a patient's blood. It was a creative process that he said ultimately allowed him to invent a carbon-coated strip that, when placed in a machine he built, can detect an increased presence of mesothelin. All right. So basically the whole rest of this paragraph says that Jack's test measures mesothelin. So I'm glad that I went for two sentences there because that first bit was a, would have been or would have been a little bit confusing if I didn't understand the first bit. All right. Let's move on. The this invention must first undergo several big clinical trials before its reliability is proven. But scientists still think his idea was brilliant. The teen scientist said that it came not from pure brain power alone, but more importantly, creativity. I don't think that I'm really smart. I know that people are way smarter than me. You can be a genius, but if you don't have the creativity to put that knowledge to use, then you just have a bunch of knowledge and nothing else, says Andraka. All right. By the way, I'm using Jack because it's easier to write. And, well, it's my summaries. So... 
Jack attributes his success to his combination of brain power and creativity. That's basically what I took away from that. All right, what's next then? Uh, and Andraka uh, couldn't have come this far with his invention if it weren't for one influential oncologist who took a chance on a teenage idea and gave him the lab space and supervision he needed. There were 199 rejections. Some professors ripped apart my procedure completely, but one professor, Dr. Anirvan Mitra, finally said yes. Dr. Mitra, formerly of the Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, now leads research into pancreatic cancer at the University of Texas, Maryland, Anderson Cancer Center. Okay, so my one sentence here, and I probably could have had more, but really I'm trying to go for a one-sentence summary where I can. Um, I said that Dr. and Urban Mitra let Jack use his lab space and supervised him when no one else would. All right. Uh, Andraka's test is now patented, and he hopes to sell it to a pharmaceutical company, which will then put it through the necessary clinical trials. Dr. Mitra is happy he gave Andraka the chance to shine. He just urges caution at this early stage. Pancreatic cancer is a very humbling disease. As a test, it's still a very long way off, but that does not detract in any way from the remarkable achievement of this young man. I think he is brilliant. All right, so basically what he's saying here is Jack's test is patented, but it's a long way from being used commercially, which really means in a hospital or in any other type of setting because it has to go through those clinical trials. All right, and the last paragraph. Meanwhile, Andraka tells the story to scientists the world over at medical conferences, and he has become quite popular in adult circles, including at the White House. But he's still just a 16-year-old kid, and he knows it. Yeah, President Barack Obama, I'm just like, hello, Mr. President, and then, hello, First Lady. It's just like, it's crazy, he tells Safer. Okay, so... That was sort of a silly paragraph at the end there. Doesn't have a whole lot to do, but, well, Jack is popular, and he's met the president. So now I've got summaries for the whole, uh, all the paragraphs. And so I took a look at those, at all my summaries, and I decided to write just three sentences about what this whole article was about. So I wrote that down here. All right. Uh, Jack Andraka is a high school student who created a test for pancreatic cancer. The test looks for an increase in mesothalin and won Jack a huge science fair. Jack has had a lot of success, but his test is a long way from being used commercially. All right, so hopefully this has given you some insight into how summarizing could be effective for you. I feel like I really understand this article now, and this article is pretty cool. Um, and hopefully uh, you can take this and use this uh, first with our cell respiration readings. Have a nice day.